I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite podcast on the Citadel. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Accidentally Casual, a podcast that is asking for your sloppy seconds. I am Tucker from Talking About Games, and with me are my co-hosts, Scott from Bioware Babylon. What's up, nerds? And Seeker, the community manager on our Discord. Nobody wants to love Tucker's <laughs> Give him here, give him here. No! Uh, I don't no. care. No. Where nope. have anyway. you been? Nope. Uh, Shut up. Bad Tucker. Get us Do you know the song? I don't care about the song, I just, nope. Because, uh, I don't know, I mean, I'm pretty sure, oh, I don't know if the listeners have noticed, but every intro, I uh, introduce it with some sort of lyric of a song. One of you. As like. You know, now uh, the comment section is just going to be filled with, oh shit, I didn't notice that. And they're just going to go through every episode yeah. and figure that out. Anyway. And it, I mean, and I try to make each one somewhat relevant to what's going on. So, like, this one's sloppy seconds, because this is our actually our second recording. Not second recording, shh, but, shh, you don't, know, like... Don't reveal behind the curtain. Recording after. <laughs> well, like, we're doing like, a little Star Wars thing here. I, they don't understand. Just, like, I'm just saying this purely for us here. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm just confusing the listeners. Okay, well, that's... Re- I'm so glad that we're all here to re- just confuse the living shit out of people. Anyway, um, so it's been a while. Yeah, it's so, a while. It's, yeah so it's it's been a while. It's been um, a while. So it's probably been I think a little over a month, month and a half since we've recorded. Um, and yeah, Christmas is the thing, holidays is the thing, and also this. I don't know about y'all, but it's like one thing I've definitely felt was like this isn't this is just like an extension of 2021 and just that bad mojo that has gone in. So oh, it's like, please. like the entirety of 2021 was an extension of the 2020 bullshit. Okay. Yeah. It's like it's it's, 2020 part two. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so one of the, so I think we all just kind of needed to settle into the new year a little bit. Start focusing on us before we started tackling on this. So, we kind of wanted to do a little bit um, for what is going to be our first released episode for 2022, a little bit of a State of the Union of Accidentally Casual. Um, and kind of what we'll just be talking about today is a bit of what we have been doing, um, like what we've been up to, and then also uh, kind of the state of the podcast, and then eventually what we want to go move forward into the podcast with. Um so we'll kind of start, I want to kind of start off with Tucker because, uh, Tucker, you, what have you been up to, especially in the realm of your channel? I've been, oh, well, I, mean, I was going to say, I've started picking up shifts at the bakery mm-hmm. where I'm working and like actually making like the scones and muffins and all the stuff that we are selling at the stall. So I'm like Ooh. doing all that stuff, Fuck yeah. but no, you specified the channel. Um, so as... I have repeatedly said I'm still working on that controversial game thing. Although, I am right now up to Street Fighter Cross Tekken in 2012, which the controversy behind that was the $120 worth of microtransactions that were on the disc when the game was out. It was just like locked. Like, the content was already there on the disc. God. It was locked behind microtransactions. A hundred, only a hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. Damn. I wish we had but, that issue. But I actually did put out a video that I am actually kind of like happy with. Um, for those of y'all, uh, John Oliver is a late night talk show host. I know who John and... Oliver is. He's one what of ours. Is... <laughs> Someone listening may not know. Seeker. <laughs> John Oliver is fucking great. Go watch John Oliver. Oh yeah. yeah. He is Absolutely. I thought I thought isn't uh isn't John Oliver blocked though over Like it, I've tried to send you some of the yeah, videos it's and because you said that HBO is weird over in our site and neck of the woods. So basically all of the YouTube links that are available for uh, stateside people to watch are not available for me. So I have to basically troll through um 
uh, slightly um, nefarious means in order to watch Donald Glover should I wish to. You know, that sounds like a great segment for our sponsor, NordVPN. <laughs> if... That we don't have, but I still recommend NordVPN. Please sponsor us. Um, so, no, no, no. Um, One day, but, hopefully. So, John Oliver did a segment about food brand or snack brand video games. Um, and he, it was a short kind of video. It, he f- talked about three games, uh, like, or not three, but Chex Quest, uh, Pepsi Man, and another one, uh, I bu- bu- can't remember. But um, there was, uh, there are a whole bunch of food-based video games that he missed. And I did a video going over um, a bunch of them. And I tried to stylize some of the comedy around the same way that John Oliver does his. But um, Did you mention how much you wanted to fuck Adam Driver? Because that does seem to be about no. 60% of his band at this point. But uh, I talk about some of the games like um, Sour Patch Kids 1, uh, the Burger King Sneak King. The one I'm surprised he missed is the KFC Dating Simulator. Oh, he yeah, did the, not yeah. bring that one up in his video about food-based video games, and that surprises me. Because I feel like that one would have been perfect to bring up. But I talked about like a whole bunch of other ones. So I'm actually I'm pretty happy about. Yeah, have that honestly, one it actually out. is a really good fucking video, and I know I tried to share the living shit out of it to try to and, get uh, it to John Oliver. That kind of like, just like the way that that video kind of came out is pushing me a bit more to work more on the videos because I am actually pretty happy with that. Mm-hmm. So like, that's what I'm doing. And then, uh, well, so why I have my controversial one, which is that log script. And I've come up while researching for this stuff. I have an idea for a short video, and it is what are video games like in North Korea? And it would just kind of be like, what is the gaming focus like in North Korea? And talk about some things like if they want to download anything on their phone, they have to go to stores, give their phone to the employee, and the employee will plug in whatever they're purchasing to download. And we'll download it directly there. Like, uh, the phones in North Korea cannot download anything themselves. Um, and I talk about some of the games that North Korea themselves have actually published. Mm-hmm. Oh, holy shit. I thought that'd be kind of an interesting video or oh, yeah. just an interesting topic to look at. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh,. For me, channel-wise, uh, the two things that I kind of want to focus on is I want to finally finish up um, the Silent Grove comics. I think I'm on the last one at this point, which don't, it's only taking me like two years to go through that comic arc. It's fine. Um, then the next one... Yeah, she get around want- to those. Huh? Yeah, I'll get around to them eventually. <laughs> no, I'm saying I should. Like, considering, uh, like... Basically, the reason I held off, even though there's Fenris content in them, and you know me, I love me some Fenris, was just that I just basically wanted everything to finish so I could have the the hard co- uh, uh, cover version so I could just read it. Oh, all yeah, no, out. those are out. out. Yeah, I know, I, I know they are. And then I've been holding out because I'm just like, they're ready, ready for Snoopy as good as I want it to be. You know, basically, I'm that person that just, I, I only recently finished uh, watching um, Breaking Bad. Because basically mm-hmm. everyone in the goddamn world recommended it to me, and it immediately put me off. And I just knew that I was just like, okay, I, once everyone stops talking about it, then I'll be able to get into it. But yeah. uh, because it's it's um, very prominent in the uh, the Bioware community, so we go, oh yeah, Silent Grove, and I'm like, no, 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 don't tell me anything. I don't want to know anything because all I want to do is just settle down with it at some point. Yeah, so, yeah I, I will get into both... that eventually. Um, and just to let you know, I know for a fact both, there are the hardcover, um, tradebacks for both Blue Wraith and, um, Dark Fortress. Both of them are out right now, so. Um, uh, so, and then the one thing I want to do is I want to start shifting towards more covering more Mass Effect content, um, just because I've been covering so much Dragon Age content, uh, 
I want to start focusing a little bit more onto Mass Effect. Um, so focus. So like I just started doing the Evolution comics, um, and so I want to start doing more of the. And you know, and I think that video came out in November, um, and so I want to do more of the Mass Effect Evolution comics and start go start starting to plug through them so those are at least the two that i've kind of been working on i haven't been focusing too much on the channel because i've been playing a shit ton of DD and also working 40 hours a week so yeah i don't have a ton of free time on my hands seeker what have you been up to um i have been working and then trying to sort christmas out and all sorts of other shit involving uh my mother Wait, figure christmas been... out yeah. it's january I'm saying that that was what I've been doing with my December. Oh. Uh, oh. And then I like crashed the fuck out uh, at the beginning of January and I was just like, let me rest. Let me sleep. And uh, yeah, basically that's been my default. I've mostly been uh, trying to keep up with like Destiny stuff and get prepared for Witch Queen, which is coming out very soon. Uh, yeah, so buddy. what I am hoping to do in the upcoming couple of weeks is try and coordinate um, running through the Witch Queen content when it comes out and then uh, about two weeks after uh, Witch Queen comes out there should be the new raid for Destiny mm -hmm. which will be fantastic so we'll hopefully be able to run through that at some point yep. and that all sounds tremendous mm -hmm. so uh, and at the moment I'm constantly talking with my partner just being like oh god it, it, they're indicating that someone might die but who is it ah but um, I'm just like, it better not be my special boy because, you know, I it, it's me. So, of course, I have a special boy that must not be killed at any any under any circumstances, even though he's already died already. But, Who's um, definitely, we swear, not an edgelord. He's not an edgelord this time. He's the sweetest boy. We can't save him. I swear we can fix him. He's not one of them. He's totally. absolutely fixable. He, he, he just had to die first. It's fine. <laughs> And his best friend is, is the only sweeter boy in the game. <laughs> He's the only one more sweet than he is, is his best friend, who is also Ugh. his ghost. But, um, so. yeah. So, basically, and also uh, his sister, my favourite sister, has massive step-on-me-mummy uh, um, energy. And uh, if, if I could, if my guardian in Destiny could get between the two of them in a... Uh, Sibling, uh, a uh, uh, solve sibling sandwich. I would be very happy. Uh, uh, I'm very predictable. Is... What can I say? I I, yeah. I like to be somewhat consistent in my um, um, in my damage. Then there's uh then there's me who uh just went eh, yeah yeah no eh, whatever exo stranger all the way anyway moving on with the beginning of the Gen year. Hips. Are there any games coming out this year that y'all are? Because you're talking about Witch Queen. Um, the big, my big game right now is which, uh, Breath of the Wild two, which I realized, oh shit, I need to finish the first one because I thought I had time. Um, I don't think there has been a release date announced for no, um, Breath of the Wild two. I don't think I know that they said 2022, but that's a really broad time. It is the um... yeah. The thing I'm looking forward to that's in, like, a week is um, the Royal Court DLC for Crusader Kings 3. So I may end up doing... Some oh, hey, that's Xbox coming to Xbox. Xbox. I is. saw a trailer that yeah. it's... Uh, Which I was so amazed I'm gonna... by because I was thinking, how are you even going to put that on... I've um... been playing Stellaris on Xbox. That's been fun. Uh, there's obviously uh, supposed to be uh, God of War Ragnarok coming out this year, provided there's no more delays. Mm. Uh, is it... Say no more delays. Obviously, everything's been fucking delayed recently. Or if you oh, can the buy a Callisto PS5. protocol is supposed to come out this year. I'll be down with that with bells on. Um, Plague Tale Requiem is also apparently happening. I know Tucker is very excited about the Skywalker Lego Saga. Boom! Lego Lego Star Wars I April fifth. Let's go. <laughs> I am I to get ready for that game. I went through and I got all the achievements in Lego Star Wars 2. Uh, Lego, uh, I already got the complete saga, and right now I'm going through Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, just getting all the achievements and 100%ing them, getting ready for this game. I'm so fucking pumped. That's nice. horrible. Um, 
uh, and I did, that sounded really, really condescending, but it genuinely wasn't meant to be. Um, I'm just uh, Elden Ring. I have no fucks to give about. Um, just because I'm not, I'm not a Soulsborne person. I, I like, I, I like easy baby mode. Please let me, let me live in easy baby mode. Um, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. I will totally be down with bells on because it's Persona, um, and it's a re-release. And the more we play the re-releases, the more we should get a port of three eventually or a, re- a remaster of three but i'm looking forward to that uh may 19th is vampire the masquerade swan song so i would like to do that as well uh for spoken i wasn't too fussed about until i heard that amy hennig who wrote the uncharted series and the legacy of kane series um she's doing that so i'm very 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 much interested in that uh june is supposedly steel rising which is made by the same people who did uh Greedful, so I am down for that. Uh, that is a game where you play as the uh, automaton, the, the porcelain automaton of Marie Antoinette. I'd love to see where that fucking goes. Um, mm. August is apparently Saints Row, the new, the the new one. So I would totally ah, uh, I uh, man, Saints Row. Hey, that uh. Saints Row looks great. I, I've heard nothing but good things about the Saints Row thing. And honestly, the fact that they delayed, I was like, yeah, good for you guys. Um, Digimon Survive! I want Digimon Survive. I have no idea when it's coming. It's apparently Q1, Q2. But it is a uh, visual novel game with survival strategy role-playing elements in the Digimon franchise. I'm like, yes, yes, more. Those are all words I like. So um, that's it. Gotham Knights is supposedly this year, as is Hogwarts Legacy. Um yeah, Which, oh no, I, that's one I'm also really pumped for, the potential Hogwarts legacy. Here's the thing. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say this because I want to justify myself here. And I feel listen, basically there has been one game since I have started gaming that I have wanted, and that's a Harry Potter RPG. Because me as a little little wee tyke was massively into Harry Potter for most of my life, and I completely reject JK Rowling and her recent bullshit views. And Can we even say that's recent, though? Can we, like... Well, relatively how long recent. I mean, re- re- relevant in, in comparison to that, it's recent in comparison to how long I've been wanting this thing. I mean, now, true, but it's like... If I get... When did her the, if I get come out? Like, 2017? Yeah, I, that's like five years. That's still recent in comparison to, like, my life. The books were published in, like, what, 90... 90-something? 90 but, uh, yeah. So, if I... I know I, sh- I should just be able to put it to rest, but if I do Hogwarts Legacy, then then I think I can just put the entire thing to bed and just be like, yep, I'm done with Harry Potter because I've pretty much, I don't watch the movies anymore. I don't own the games. I don't buy any other Harry Potter shit. However, this is like the one little niggling thing that I'm just like, you know what? This would bring me joy, I'm sure, because it's the one the thing. Lego Harry watch. Potter was also pretty good. I know, I I, I, I haven't got those, but I hear good things. So uh, I, I, The Lego games are just good games in they general. Are. Except for Lego well, Jurassic so Park. It's, a, it's one of the few games where there's a formula to it, and I don't care that they don't mix up, the, they don't change. The oh, dude, this this new Lego one, their, oh, their formula is, is all mixed up. It's... it's like martini okay but, also apparently the uh, halo show is happening in march apparently yes We've got, um... to which that from what i think i've heard is it doesn't take place within halo canon it's 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 in the halo universe but it's its own canon presumably but it uh, isn't isn't um cowards uh, Pablo Schreider also being, um, isn't he playing Master Chief? So doesn't this go, yeah. <gasps> oh, that's so cute! Yeah, like Master Chief's in there's it a, and like all this stuff. There's but... a game called, that's coming out soon called Whisker Squadron and it's basically like, kind of like Star Fox but you're all cats. Ooh. Whiskers. They're so cute. Um, Starfield there's... is supposedly this year. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Um, no, well, it's for like November this year, so... They have plenty of time to delay it. There's that Star Trek game that seems to be happening this year that looked great because it was all the, um, like uh, the old school Telltale games. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll, 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 I'll do that. But um, like I said, I, I'm not sure what the current date on that is. What on earth is Sunshine Manor? 
Suicide Squad is like, yeah, I'm sure some people enjoy it. It's not quite my thing, but um, and uh, yeah, just yeah, I, 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 I'm totally down. The Callisto the Protocol is supposed to be this year, yeah, and I'm I excited that. for that. I literally As... said that earlier. Oh, did did you say the Callisto? Yeah, I did. I that was like the second thing I said. Oh, I missed that one. Um, there's that, and there's so Somerville, Somerville. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's uh, it's the first game published by a company called Jump Ship, which was founded by the guy who helped find Playdead, the company behind Limbo and Inside. And I loved and like Inside was phenomenal. And Limbo, I mean Limbo's a classic game too, but Inside was just so good. And this one, this is just seems like it's the same kind of thing, different story, different thing of that but the, it plays the same it's the uh puzzle platformer the cinematic puzzle I mean, platformer you can move uh, back in the day uh, without seeing limbo and inside was also spectacular if yeah so I, i'm gross. very excited <laughs> uh, in the for... best way in the best kindest way it was fucking gross but uh yeah and there's also a rumor uh yeah. that the second part of coffee talk is going to come out which co- that's a game that i've talked about a little bit um, it's like a story-based kind of game, like one of those novel stories that you read. It takes place in Seattle, where you run a coffee shop, and characters come in, and their story goes on, and you, like, every once in a while, they'll just be like, hey, can you make me, uh, cho- like, something chocolatey, or can you make me a green what game tea, is this, sorry? or something like that. Coffee talk. Oh, do you mean coffee it time? Is... It's what? Is it Coffee Time? Hang on, because I think I have coffee this one. Talk. Coffee Talk. Oh, yeah, I have Coffee Talk. Yeah, I've got it on um, my Switch. It's great. It is great. It's, it takes it place in so Seattle. Horrible. And there is supposedly a second part of it coming out this year. <gasps> Ooh, yay. Um, uh, so that'd be kind of cool. Uh, six Days in Fallujah. Fallujah. However oh, I'm excited. I no, still fuck that. Ready for that? That, c- that shit can burn. Um, I... I, Are I, um, we going to have an a, a, a political view of fucking war crimes? I mean, right. We will see when they release it. I am so ecstatic about like the idea and everything, like the way that the map is set up with randomness, the minimalist HUD idea. Like I've been loving Hell Let Loose and games like just minimal HUD. And yeah, let's put white shooters when they civilians. have no HUD Yay! are so much scarier. Yeah, I have I have a weird thing with Pelusia, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Midnight um, Suns is apparently this year, just to get on a nicer fucking topic. Um, which ooh, I'm looking forward and to. actually, ta- talking about Midnight Suns, Moon Knight TV yeah, show Moon Knight! is this I'm year. I'm so hyped for Moon Knight. And the trailer that came out for it looks so damn good. Yeah, regardless, uh... Okay, you guys can probably tell a little bit of um, what our future topics in the upcoming year are probably going to be on. And Well, we could probably predict what the next episode's topics might be. Oh, yeah, Is yeah. Gee, I one? wonder why, Tucker. <laughs> hmm. uh, it might be a bit um, confrontational from my side. Confrontational? <laughs> well, I mean, it... it well, just it depends on how people Ooh, are like the, um, accessing it. I forgot yeah. to mention the uh, the next Dark Pictures anthology, The Devil in Me, looks fucking great. Okay. Have they released a trailer for that? They did because they oh. they they released a trailer at the end of uh, the game for the previous game. Oh, they so oh, they okay. did for I, I... Man of Medan, for Little Hope, and for House of Ashes. So there was the trailer for The Devil in Me at the end of ha- House of Ashes. Which okay, was great. I knew House of Ashes came out. I just didn't know they announced that. I'm waiting yeah, for all. Has- the rest of them to come out and then just get all of them and do that. Okay. Anyway, back on topic. Uh, uh-huh. The next thing I did want to talk about a little bit of the state of the podcast. So just let everyone know podcasts not going anywhere. We still plan on doing recordings and stuff like that. Um, I know hopefully with my work schedule has changed a little bit where hopefully I'll be getting Sundays off more often, which is when we record. I think um, Tucker, you usually have Sundays off 99% of the time. Yeah. Um, Seeker, I think you. I know your schedule is shifting around a little bit, but hopefully we're trying to get you on Sundays more. We're also trying to change uh recording times as well. So and then Seeker's not recording at three in the morning. 
Um, yeah. we do At try the very to... least, I should be able to uh, provide uh, long in advance what my schedule is. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and also, heaven forbid, we on the state on state sides of things be a little bit more accommodating, so that you actually get sleep. Sleep uh, is good. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to record a little bit more. We're never going to be have a shortage of topics. We're still going to be. Well, technically speaking, we started at... Well, okay, we say this like I've been a part of this this whole time. And no, I have not, but... Like, no, but you while, are now. Yeah, 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 you yeah, are yeah. now. Anyway, um... We love you, well, <laughs> How dare you give me love and affection? Um, love. Uh, oh, fuck, that Avatar game's happening, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, oh, also, fuck, there's a... the, thing uh, the second... A- there's also an Avatar RPG coming out, like a ar- uh, tabletop book coming out, too. Um, oh, fuck I just got all the achievements in Avatar The Last Airbender. Nice. As you do. To you which, do. man, uh, if people like that kind of stuff, check out Spellbreak. It's uh, kind of dying, so it'd be nice to get some new people kind of poking in there. It's I've literally never like even heard a... of Spellbreak. Also, every- what? everyone get used to the fact that I have to wrangle in these two miscreants on topics. Yeah. <laughs> um, but as well, so hopefully we'll be trying to record more. We have plenty of topics that, again, while this started out very much as a Bioware centric, Mass Effect centric podcast, we've definitely diversified just talking about nerdy stuff in general because, hey, maybe Bioware fans are actually a little bit more diverse than just Bioware. Hmm, what a thought. Um, but uh, one of the big things that I never really did an announcement on, so I guess this is a little bit of a soft announcement for um, this. We're actually on Anchor. Um, so, or if you also want to listen to it on Spotify, we have the last seven episodes on there right now. And pretty much all future episodes are also going to be released on Anchor as well. Just so and then people can... Um, because I know we've had a few of our community members say that we they would like if there was an audio version of the podcast, so then they can listen to it on their drive or on or when they're working and stuff like that. So we are trying to diversify a little bit on what platforms that we're on and try to spread that out a little bit. So hopefully um, more and more people will start getting views on that because that would honestly be nice to be able to diversify a little bit. Um yeah, that's kind of the current state of things. Um, the next topic is talking about um, the future of the podcast and where we want to go. Um, so a few of the things that we do have planned for the future. One, we are. Um, I am currently trying to work on updating the visuals on the podcast. And this is less to make the, the visuals look good and more... Whenever we try to record anything, our video, like, to give you a little bit of behind the scenes, they're about 11 to 12 gigabyte size videos. And trying to send... For those who don't know. Yeah, which... Especially the fact when you have to send them via email, takes for fucking ever. So we're hopefully trying to simplify the audio or the visuals a little bit. And also do just something a little bit different, mix things up a bit. Um, so, especially with us being a audio podcast, we don't need Ultra HD. V- you know, we don't need Ultra HD visuals for what is, let's be real, this is an audio podcast. Um, so that's one thing that we're trying to focus on a little bit. One big thing that we're also trying to do that Seeker alluded to is... Um, Obviously, especially with our Discord, we're really big into Destiny 2. Um, with the new expansion of Witch Queen coming out on February 22nd, one of the things that we were thinking about doing is setting up a live stream of um, Witch Queen coming out um, and us just playing through Witch Queen. Uh, obviously, Seeker is g- going to be coordinating that with... Um, her amazing community manager skills, um, trying to, and and this isn't going to be just me and Seeker playing. We want the whole community getting involved. So it's not just an exclusive thing. Um, 
And we're hoping to be able to get like our whole community, our whole clan, which we do have a Destiny 2 clan. If you're interested in joining, go on to our Discord and we'll invite you over. Um, and we kind of want to do the stream a little bit um, for not necessarily the to get, you know, rich and famous off of it, but also just for the people who can't join us for actually the playing with us. Hey, they can at least watch us do stupid shenanigans from there. Um, so that's kind of our at least plan for that. We, um, we're still trying to work out the details on how we're actually going to do that, which we probably should get going on because eh, we have like 23 days left. <laughs> um, so that's one big thing that we're trying to kind of focus on a little bit. Uh, so, um, I think the only other thing that I can think of that we are going to be doing as well, um, we're trying to diversify our platform a little bit and like what platforms we are. Obviously we're already trying to do this on audible. Um, but if there's any suggestions that you, any of the viewers would like to make, let us know. Like if obviously we're on anchor, um, anchor gives me also different opportunities to not only be on Spotify, but on Apple music, I think Google uh, Play as well. Um, if you guys would be interested, like, let us know right in the comments, go into our Discord or whatnot. Like, talk with us and see what we can do. And what do you guys want to do for, like, us diversifying platforms? And also, any other suggestions on, like, visuals or anything like that that you guys want to see? Or topics as well. We're down for that as well. Um, Especially if, if you're like, oh, there's this game that I think you guys would like that's great. We'll absolutely look into um, checking it out because there's a, a, something I'd like to try getting into potentially uh, for all uh, all of us if, if, if we can is to start highlighting or streaming games that uh, we think are entirely underrated or uh, we just have a lot of love for. Because I know Christ knows I could do a playthrough of Persona 5 Royal and just be like, look, this is why I love the game. But there's also another game called like um, uh, Enslaved Odyssey to the West. It's actually very short, relatively speaking, that I'd love to just highlight because I think it's entirely underrated. But uh, just to be able to, you know, get some love for some games that I don't think got a fair shot, or at least ones yeah. that we have a lot of affection for, that is just like, okay, I want to explain why I love this thing. So we can yeah. get it off my chest. Um, one thing also as well for the Destiny when we stream uh, Witch, uh, the Witch Queen content is we are probably going to be using our own personal um, Twitch uh, accounts for that, which uh, we'll be put it, posting into the comment into probably the not, either the comment section or. Uh, um, or in the description, just so in them for people to have. Obviously, Tucker also has um, talking about games on his own on Twitch as well. Please go follow him. Um, so um, he's obviously going to have ours. We thought about maybe doing, and if you guys would want an accidentally casual only um, Twitch account effectively, let us know, but... For right now, especially, it's probably just going to be easier for us to just use our own personal ones, and then you'll just have to watch us specifically. So uh, we're sorry if that's a little bit of a inconvenient pain in the butt for everybody, but uh, it's just kind of going to be the easiest thing for us. Um, Seeker and Tucker, is there anything that you guys want to do moving forward with the uh, um, podcast at all that you guys want to be improving or just wanting to do nah, I pretty much just make things up as I go along I mean that is I'm very important. aware of that I mean that's I think I aware of that. things I'd like to kind of work on if we come up with any other if there's any other suggestions that we, we would like to implement or um, any other ideas I'm sure we can discuss them as, as adults and then uh, maybe like uh, turn into the community and just be like hey guys how do you feel about this or like we're gonna try doing this for a while or whatever but in either way is we can be flexible uh, depending on how, like, what the situation is and what the suggestions are. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, 
I think with that, I think that kind of covers everything for us on us really talking about the State of Union, or, well, the State of Accidentally Casual, which is usual anarchy and chaos and us barely being able to form a coherent thought, but that's either here nor there. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be just a shorter episode for today, guys. Um, just kind of giving you an idea of, like, what we want to do in the future. So, anyway, we'll just close it out here. I'm Scott from Bioware Babbling. We got Tucker from Talking About Games and our wonderful Hello. lovely community manager, Seeker. Oh, wait, goodbye. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you. I don't know. We've been recording so many podcasts that I couldn't tell if this was an intro or an outro. Okay, guys. We'll see you next time, you fucking nerds. Bye. Bye. Bye.